Vancouver Early Evening News for Thursday, October 5th. I'm Kevin Olenek. TransCanada says it won't proceed with its Energy East Pipeline and Eastern Mainland proposals. Russ Gurley, the Calgary-based energy company CEO, said in a statement that the National Energy Board and Quebec officials will be informed TransCanada won't go forward with the applications. The proposed project would have carried more than 1 million barrels of oil every day from Alberta and Saskatchewan across the country to, refine, to be refined or exported from facilities in New Brunswick and Quebec. An Edmonton human rights activist says the man charged in last weekend's attack says, claims he rarely attends a mosque and religion does not play a major role in his life. Mohammed Accord got his first glimpse of Abdullah Sharif, the man charged with repeatedly stabbing a police officer and hitting four pedestrians with a U-Haul truck. They spoke for 30 minutes via closed-circuit television. The court said he did not have enough time to ask all the questions he had hoped to about the Somali refugee accused. The 30-year-old Sharif has faces five counts of attempted murder, four counts of criminal flight causing bodily harm, one count of dangerous driving and possession of a weapon for a dangerous purpose. Edmonton police are continuing to investigate the incidents as acts of terrorism. One person is dead after a serious crash in Delta this afternoon. Delta police said the incident took place just after noon at the Nordell Way off-ramp in Highway 91. The condition of the second driver is still unknown. Advanced voting for Vancouver's by-election began yesterday, and more people showed up to cast ballots than expected. The last time Vancouver held a by-election was in 1992, and just 10% of the registered voters showed up at the polls. Day one of advanced voting saw close to 2,000 ballots cast. Nine candidates are vying for the single seat on council left vacant by Vision Vancouver Councillor Jeff Meggs, while 19 are battling nine seats on the city school board may vacate when the former B.C. Liberal government fired the entire board last fall. Vancouver is a step closer to potentially hosting the 2026 FIFA World Cup. The city has been shortlisted by the United Bid Committee, which is coordinated by North America's proposal to host. The tier 32 city shortlist also includes Montreal, Seattle, and Miami. Nine cities, including Ottawa and Regina, were cut from the list announced in August. Phil mogul high Harvey Weinstein has issued an apology for his past behavior and said he is preparing to take a leave of absence for work after a bombshell report accusing him of sexual harassment over decades. Reports indicate that Weinstein had reached private settlements with at least eight women over accusations of sexual misconduct. In sports, eight games tonight in the NHL. Five of them have started. The Avalanche are up on the Rangers 2-0 in the first. Habs and Sabres are tied at one. So are the Preds and Bruins in the first. Wild and Red Wings are just getting underway, as are the Capitals and Senators. The Penguins are off to Chicago later. Arizona is in Anaheim to face the Ducks. And the Flyers are facing the Kings later on tonight. Rob Gronkowski will miss tonight's Thursday night with a thigh injury as the Patriots are in Tampa Bay to play the Bucks. And the American League Division Series started today. Batting champ Jose Altuve hit three home runs as the Houston Astros roughed up Chris Sale and the Boston Red Sox 8-2 in Game 1. And the Yankees are in Cleveland to start their series tonight. And Major League Baseball is investigating, according to reports, the potential use of a watch, a time watch, by Arizona Diamondbacks coach Ariel Prieto during last night's 11-8 National League wildcard game victory over the Colorado Rockies. Uh, the investigation comes on the heels of the Boston Red Sox receiving a fine for using such a device during a series versus the New York Yankees in August. A screen grab of last night brought, last night's broadcast appears to confirm that Prado was wearing such a device during the game. Vancouver weather, it was beautiful today, and it will continue to be beautiful tonight and 12. The rain returns tomorrow with at 9 in the morning and a high of 14 in the afternoon. chance of a shower in 14 on Saturday, sunny in 14 for the rest of Thanksgiving weekend. It's currently 16 degrees right now in downtown Vancouver. That is the early evening news, weather, and sports for Thursday, October 5th. Go to soundcloud.com, K-E-V-O-L-E, or spreaker.com, K-E-V-O-L-E, for more. I'm Kevin Olenek.